I'm Nakia from Where's the Buzz, LaToya and Finesse. Congratulations and happy early holidays, okay? <laughs> yeah, so for me, I'm a sucker for Christmas movies and rom-coms. So it was really refreshing to see two Black leads and such like a, some, it was really refreshing to see something different, I think, for me. So LaToya, I'll start with you. Was that kind of the catalyst for you to kind of jump onto this project? And if not, what was it that made you want to take on this role? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm telling you, that is probably the main reason why I jumped on the film, because I am such a holiday girl. Um, and I I keep it on holiday films all throughout the year. Like literally I will watch my favorite holiday film in the middle of summer. I do not care. Um, so to, you know, for, for this movie to call for a black female lead, a black male lead, I was like, why would I not take this opportunity to one, start a holiday film, but two, tell the stories of, you know, these two, um, two well, this single mom, um, who was trying to figure it out for her and her daughter. And I came from a single, you know, my mom was a single parent, uh, trying to raise me and my brother and doing whatever she had to do uh, to provide for us to make sure we had a great life. And that's exactly what my character is trying to do. And I feel like, you know, what what better network to tell it on? What the, the story is different, it's unique. Um, and I feel like people will gravitate to it because it is so unique and yummy. We'll say that. Yeah. It's very yummy. It was very you delicious. <laughs> you want a croissant? Very, de very delicious. You guys had me. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm starting to get hungry now. Uh, but that's for you. Because, okay, all the treats, all the tarts, all the baking. Imagine being on set with that. Okay, so yeah this was this was i was gonna act so i'll start so finesse for you like latoya was saying what is it like being on set are we really cooking are we baking how did you guys have to prep for these roles because you two are you know extraordinaire bakers and have your own businesses so are you guys behind the scenes really cooking i'm i'm really cooking but i make edibles um okay <laughs> <laughs> um, i was wondering when i was wondering when he was gonna say something i knew okay, it finesse <laughs> No, really. Christmas, Christmas edibles. Christmas edibles. Um, uh, it was great. The, the one thing that was funny for me was, you know, once I realized that I had two weeks, you know, to get ready for this movie, um, I really worked out hard because I knew I was going to be in some suits and stuff and I wanted to look a certain way. And then when I got to set, it was all this cheesecake and oatmeal cookies and carrot cake and fudge brownies. I mean, we were really in pastry shops with real food. And I just kept picking out stuff I wanted at the end of the day. And the lady would always take care of me. Okay, I got you, I got you. I, got you. <laughs> so I, had, I had whole cheesecakes <laughs> in, my apart, in my apartment, you know, like every two days I would refresh it with a new pastry. Um, I, had, I found the movie just really fun. I was really excited to play opposite of Latoya. I was really excited about being a black male lead uh, everything I had done was comedy up until that point. And they just kept stressing the fact that we know you can do comedy. Just please just fall in love. We just want you to just be grounded and fall in love. And I was like, wow, I'm really, really excited to do this. And then some days it would be so simple to just do that. And then some days it was like, I don't want to fall in love today. How can I mentally get there? <laughs> you know, because, and then I realized, oh, it's not as easy as people think to go through a gamut of emotions when I'm just so used to playing the ba -dum -dum, you know, the right. line, you know, and so Latoya really helped me with that. And, um, and I'm just very happy to keep hearing like great reviews about the movie because I'm like, wow, I can't wait. To, I can't wait. To it, it was really refreshing. Cause like finesse, I know you from SNL and a lot of comedy. So watching you on screen, I was like, wait, <laughs> This is amazing. I, I, I'm happy to see you in this role and I want to see more of this and same with LaToya. It was just, it felt natural watching you too because you know, sometimes Christmas movies, they, you know, they could be a little cheesy sometimes but I feel like with this one, it was natural. It was beautiful. And my favorite thing was the dynamics between Brianna and her daughter and Julian and his mother, the parenting dynamic. LaToya, do you want to speak a little bit about that? Like, how was that process for you? Because I enjoyed the whole parent-child dynamics between your two characters oh man um I kind of fell right into that because I was raised by a single mom and like I said I know 
now know as a single mom, what it feels like to want to go to the end of the earth for your child and for them to have the best life, the best education. And her goal um, was to get her into the school. She knew her, she knew her child would thrive in the school. It's the place she wanted to be. Um, and it, she also knew that realistically for her to pay this tuition as a single mom trying to, uh, uh, what you call it? Um, I want to say slang. I was about to say slang. Trying to hustle some uh, cheesecakes out of a food truck. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That tuition, that tuition <laughs> wasn't going to happen. So she had to, you know, she had to make a decision. She had to step out of her comfort zone and enter this competition. Um, and, you know, she ended up, first of all, growing as an artist, but two, rekindling you know a romance with a past love well not a past flame really um <clears throat> and uh yeah me. That, that um, fling for me. it was a fling it was a fl- yeah so but i do as a mom i can relate yeah and it was it was easy for me to drop into that because i know what it feels like to sit at that kitchen table and say okay what we, what we gonna do what we gonna yeah. we're gonna get done but and it got done. It's got to get done. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, and I, I know that there are going to be a lot of women who can relate to Brianna. Um, yeah. And, you know, her struggle to just keep her head above water. And, not, and also, unfortunately, to not let her daughter see her struggling in the way that she was struggling. Um, but, yeah, it, 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 I think that there are. It's going to be fun. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be all these different things. But I, like you said, people are going to tap into the parenting side of this movie and be able to go, man, I remember having a conversation like my mom. I remember having a conversation like that with, you know, my my dad or having to get real with him and all these different things. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely a relatable film for sure. Yeah, I related to it so much because I had those conversations with my mom. So that's what it reminded me of. Uh, Finesse, for you, what do you hope the audience can take away from this? Because again, I am a sucker for Christmas movies and rom-coms and to have two Black leads. It just made me really happy to see this movie. I got thinking the holiday spirit. I was like, am I getting emotional? So I I know the fans would love it. So what do you hope the audience will take away from this? Because I enjoyed everything about this film. I want the ladies to know there are some (laughs) good Black men out there. You know, this guy was raised by a black mom. <laughs> she, uh, you know, she did a great job. And even though Julian is competitive and even though Julian has a little flavor on the dressing and, you know, his passion was pastries. Yeah. So I tried my best to make that as manly as possible, you know. Uh, but also, I, you know, I was taking my craft and the business of it extremely serious. So I want people to watch it and see that, you know, men who are mama's boys can also be passionate about business. And sometimes when you're so focused, you're not really focusing on finding a girl or find, you know, falling in love. And we don't know Julian's backstory. We don't know if he was a player, but we do know when he saw Brianna again, he was like, oh, I remember I liked her. Oh, but I remember she thought she was better than me. So I don't <laughs> <laughs> you know, and uh, I think over the course of the movie, we saw him, uh, we saw him slowly and gradually not think about winning or being number one at something. He started thinking more and more about Brianna and her situation. And then uh, we started to see the chemistry get hotter and hotter, you know, and 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 then it turned into something because obviously she tracked me down by the end of the movie. <laughs> how much Ah, listen, I, listen, I will say this. Women, we love men who can cook and to find someone who can make pastries, that's just top tier. And second of all, the chemistry, what? top tier, the chemistry was so, between you two was so amazing. I can only imagine what it was like on set because watching you two on screen, I was like, okay, the holidays are coming. I got to find somebody to text. I'm watching this Christmas movie. I got to find an old boo to find because watching you two was so magnetic and it was so energetic. You guys always ha- almost had me texting an ex for the holidays. So I just wanted oh, to do God. that. Oh, man, you've been, uh, what you call that? Uh, not being the block. What was it? Spin, spin about you. Like, you know. <laughs> yeah. uh, I wanted to say thank you. Before I let you guys go, because this is Christmas, it's about baking. Uh, Latoya, we'll start with you. Do you have a favorite Christmas dish that you always have to make or always have to have for the holidays? 
Uh, mac and cheese. Uh, I gotta have it and I'll, I'll cook it. So mac yeah, and cheese. Mac cheese. Okay, noted. Finesse. It like it's somebody's cooking. When you get the oh gosh, if everyone can't make mac and cheese, when you get the right mac and cheese, yeah, bake mm -hmm. mac and cheese, bake mac and cheese with that heavy, with that heavy, uh, the heavy, uh, milk. What's called? Yeah, come on. That's why I love Latoya. That's why I love Latoya. But next, what about you? What you do you have a go to uh Christmas dish? Yes, I love to make my sweet potato yams, uh, you know, with the brown sugar and the marshmallows. Like, I go all in on that. Um, sometimes I can, I combine it with banana pudding, but the cookie, not the actual. So people don't know that, that if you can put that wafer mm -hmm. and your yams with your marshmallows, with your sugar, See, that's that's something new. See, I'm I didn't know this. Latoya's face. You know Latoya, what? Latoya's like, what? But first of all, I'm trying to also so talk about, about like sweet potato. I, I mean, that is very, very sweet, very sweet. So I know I'm coming to Latoya's house for macaroni. Then I'm coming to Finesse's house for the yams with the banana pudding, the wafer cookie and the yams, sweet potato yams. Yes, I know what to do with yams. We're going to just leave it there because this is on and this is a Christmas movie, but I know what you meant, Finesse. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys so much. I absolutely love you too. <laughs> I'm like, we know what Finesse meant, but we're going to, this is Christmas. This is holiday. This is all about love. But no, thank you guys so much. I absolutely love this film. I cannot wait for people to see it. You two killed it. I love the chemistry and I hope to see more projects with you two together. It was awesome. Thank you guys oh, and thank, thank you, you all. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Happy holidays. Thank you. I'll talk to you guys soon.